Uh, okay, this is the stuff of legend. Gold buried in the ground and treasure just waiting to be found. <laughs> it's pretty tempting stuff, isn't it? Um, if we were living back in the day of fairy tales. But that's the kind of temptation that's still strong enough, even today, for at least four people who were allegedly lured to their deaths by the promise of gold treasure. This happened in Washington State. Police picked up a man named Richard Bradley, and they charged Mr. Bradley with murdering a woman whom he promised a cut of buried gold, and she believed it. Bradley has been in jail there for two and a half years now. And why do you say, why would we be talking about this now if it's already two and a half years? Well, prosecutors have now identified three other mysterious killings, all with a common theme, the promise of hidden treasure, hidden gold. And wouldn't you know it, they just upgraded Richard Bradley from person of interest to suspect in all three of them. That's why I called Matt Murphy, because he spent nearly 20 years prosecuting homicides in Orange County, California as a deputy district attorney. He knows all of these scams and how to catch them. So what are the odds, Matt, that in this sort of, you know, area that surrounds Seattle, slightly rural, there would be more than one suspect who would have this kind of an MO? Come and help me unearth buried gold and you can get a share. Yeah, that's zero. I mean, there's going to be zero work in that angle in the United States or probably the world. So, um, yeah, this is a this is an interesting case because this guy, of course, um, most serial killers, there's a sexual component. There's no allegations of that in this case. So he was literally just killing all these people to take their stuff. Well, you're a former prosecutor. You could say that when I'm a journalist, I have to say allegedly. So he's still got to be uh, proven in a court of law. But yeah, you're I mean, the, the allegations are that he would he would find people who were known to carry a lot of cash. He'd lure them to the woods with buried stolen gold that they could unearth and share that he would allegedly kill them, steal their cars, steal their money. But it seemed as though the police say he was found driving their cars and had their stuff. So I, I almost think is do serial killers typically trip themselves up as like dumbest criminals. Well, this guy trips himself up because he's just dumb. Um, you know, he was he left people alive that saw him with the victims last. You know, he's the last person seen with them and he's driving around with their cars. And then according to authorities and again, you're right, uh, he's presumed innocent, of course, until the evidence comes in. But he's he's accused of burying them on his own property. So uh, a lot of serial killers are actually geniuses. This guy appears to be no genius. And again, it's weird that it's it's a, a money thing. How often have you seen a, a person again, he's alleged, but a person who kills in a serial way just for financial profit? How often are they are they that guy? Well, believe it or not, it's actually very rare. Most serial killers, like I said, there's a sexual component. I only had one case in 17 years. That was my Skylar De Leon case, the Hawks murder, where he was serially murdering people for their money. So it's, it's. I mean, thankfully, it's a lot more rare than people might expect. Um, this is, I think this is a fascinating case. It is. I mean, who falls for gold? But I guess, you know, people do, unfortunately. Matt Murphy, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.